Well, what's happened is every time we've had one of these new cultural technologies, we've also developed systems for keeping them under control. So newspapers, you know, again, we just sort of take newspapers for granted and newspapers are sort of disappearing. But newspapers were a way of taking that printed information and curating it and having editors who said, this is true and this isn't true. And this is something we want to tell our readers and this is something we don't want to tell our readers. And you had norms that developed, things like journalism or journalism school or libel laws that said, no, here's a way that we can take this new culture and and make control it in a way that will let the good parts come out and keep the bad parts under control. And every time there's a new cultural technology, we've had new laws, we've had new norms, we've had new institutions, we've had new kinds of people who were there to try to make these institutions work for, um, and the same thing, by the way, is true for markets. You know, think about the way that markets, markets are great for coordinating people, but we all know all the terrible things that can happen with markets too. So you need to have laws, you need to have institutions, you need to have ways to, to regulate them. And I think the same thing's going to be true with AI. If, we, if we're going to succeed, we're both going to have to have internal you know, internal norms. I think you see some of that happening with kids where kids will say things like, oh no, I don't, you know, this is the wrong thing to pay attention to. If you go to that YouTube site, it's full of, you know, it's mm. full of nonsense. This one is actually, this one is actually better. Um, and also we're going to have to have all those boring things like legislation and code and uh, uh, regulatory agencies, that's already sort of starting that will make sure that things are good rather than bad.